What is this altar that you have erected in my house? You say, we have not erected any altar besides your altar, O oh Lord. But why do you allow Jezebel to erect the altar of sexual immorality in my house? You have helped the altar of sexual immorality to grow by the reason of your sacrifice of lawlessness upon it. I have no delight in casting anyone into hellfire. This is why I bring my warnings and judgments to you here on earth now that you are that you still have the opportunity to repent. Now answer me, you pharaohs, when you go to covens and demonic altars to get powers, is it for the goodness of my church? Where in my word is it written that those who work for God must belong to secret courts? But you have made it mandatory for yourselves to join satanic courts in order to get powers, protection, wealth, and fame. You have even used your demonic wisdom and deceptive powers to initiate your fellow pastors into serving demons. My wrath will soon catch up with you like lightnings. When you sacrifice one soul in order to get power to save 100 souls, does that make you not guilty of murder? Do I not command you that you shall not murder? Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. Which God do you offer human sacrifices to? Do I need human sacrifices? You kill and sacrifice human beings to demons in the secret and in the open you put my holy name upon your lips, the same lips with which you drink innocent blood and proclaim without fear, we are the servants of the living God. When you have multiple sex partners to satisfy your unusual urge, do you still call yourself my servant? Who can get my holy path through sex rituals? The souls of the women and the, the young men you sacrifice through sex rituals are lamenting in hell. Many of you take advantage of weak women. Because of your cleanness, many marriages have been dissolved. You have rendered many guests useless as a result of your sexual immorality. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 12 and 26 make it clear that Jesus Christ offered himself once and for all time a sacrifice for sin. Therefore, there remains no more sacrifice for sin. Will you deceive people in my name? to perform all these evils and still go unpunished? My judgment shall come swiftly upon you like the flood of Noah. How can you take your stand to chase away Jezebel and rebuke her daughters who come into my house half naked with sensual dresses when you are on assignment for the devil who is your master and God? Am I a god of nakedness? Have you not read that I made a garment of skin for Adam and Eve when their nakedness was not properly covered? What is this altar of sexual immorality you have erected in my house? Brethren, it is very painful today that Those who are made shepherds in the house of God, many of them don't actually know their work. It is painful that it is difficult to differentiate. Those, the Lord says, you are the light of the world. It is difficult to
to differentiate many of them from those in the world. A Christian going to church in this our generation can dress like a club girl, can dress like a club guy. It is painful. It is painful. Sometimes I weep for the church. It is painful that these people, these false pastors, are leading people into hell. I was in church during one of our Friday fasting program, and sleep came upon me. And then the Lord revealed to me a female putting on bomb shot. And I saw a wedding ring. This lady was putting on a wedding ring. And I saw the bomb shot. I didn't see the face. And I, I heard the voice of God. The voice was so serious. It was full of anger. And the Lord said, these people will never, never see my face. And I woke up. Please, those who are church members, don't go to hell. Many of these pastors are on their way to hell. They know they are going to hell. It pains my heart. Please, don't go to hell. In Matthew chapter 24, where Jesus talks about the signs of the end time and his second coming, he did not make mention of Satan, but he talks about the activities of false prophets. False prophets today and false teachers. They are of a greater threat to Jesus than Satan himself. Please, don't follow these people. Come out of her, my people. That is what the Bible says. Come out of her, my people. 